Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Peter Jennings and I go by CSU Ram 88 across the daily fantasy industry and I'm excited to be back again here at Fantasy Labs doing another lineup review for week 14. Uh, another frustrating week for me. I did have uh, one good cash game team, one bad cash game team, but bricked overall in tournaments. Uh, reviewing the three donks as always um, with Levitan, Bales, and I. Taking a look at my lineup, uh, I actually felt good about the process and liked this lineup quite a bit. Uh, I had Alex Smith uh, at quarterback, who I did like a lot. Obviously, ran bad with touchdown variants and, uh, you know, Cream Hunt and Charkandrick Rest running in the touchdowns uh, for Kansas City and then a bunch of field goals. But I felt it was a good spot against Oakland. Really, uh, we saw obviously a ceiling last week and he just had a dud. Um, quarterback was kind of a tough position. Uh, I initially was going to pay down. My other team, I did play Blaine Gabbert. Uh, early in the week, I was on Kaiser, but the wind scared me just a little bit. Uh, Giovanni Bernard, who was a lock, no explanation there needed with uh, Joe Mixon out. He was just heavy, heavy chalk, 95% on the $500 double ups. Uh, just everyone played him. Lamar Miller, who I really liked uh, overall, um, and this was actually kind of the death of this lineup, was uh, going Lamar Miller uh, for another reason outside of him. He obviously had a bad game. Uh, I thought he made a lot of sense for San Francisco, but uh, Lamar Miller, along with Steven Anderson, took me away from Hopkins in this lineup in favor of Keenan Allen because I didn't want three Texans, uh, so that was really the downfall. Josh Gordon, A.J. Green, really liked their prices. Uh, obviously, A.J. Green uh, bricked pretty hard, uh, could have had a, a really big game. I thought it was a good matchup, but the Bengals didn't show up. Josh Gordon, I thought, was mega chalk even uh, in the situation that he was in. Steven Anderson, who saw 12 targets the week before, uh, I thought was a really, really nice play as well. Uh, a guy in general that uh, was pretty heavily owned across the industry. The big key was going Burton over Anderson, if you did do that. And then I had LaShawn McCoy and the Bills defense, which I really liked. I thought McCoy made a ton of sense with the weather, and the Bills defense, uh, you know, I thought was another good play. Unfortunately, the, the Colts didn't throw at all with the snow, so uh, the Bills defense didn't rack up a lot of fantasy points. Uh, Bills had uh, just a slightly worse lineup here. I uh, went with Gabbert, Bernard, McCoy, Allen, Fitzgerald, who I thought was a really good play. Sterling Shepard, Stephen Anderson, Gurley, and the Bengals. D, uh, all really solid plays. I thought all these guys were in consideration in cash. Uh, I had everyone outside of the Bengals, D, in cash um, across the industry. Uh, didn't like the Bengals as much with uh, Perfect out and all the injuries that they had, but I uh, still thought it was a solid play. Um, you know, a lot of people were on the Bengals. Levitan with a, a great team here. Went with Kaiser and uh, Josh Gordon. Also went Trey Burton over Stephen Anderson, which was really, ba really big. Uh, I think he did that because of the same thought process I had. Went with Hopkins and Lamar Miller. Hopkins obviously had that huge game, but really similar team here. The, the big differences were going Kaiser and Trey Burton over Steven Anderson and my quarterback. He was able also to fit in Hopkins uh, as a really nice play. Um, so that worked out really well for Levitan. Uh, really good team. You can see there's a pretty good amount of overlap between the three of us. Uh, taking a look at the Millionaire Maker, um, we're going to review this contest and the contest dashboard as well. Uh, my best team was a game stack uh, with Carson Wentz. feel awful that he tore his ACL, but really like this team overall. Went with Carson Wentz, all three pass catchers, which I think is fine with Wentz, Aguilar, Jeffrey, and Trey Burton. And when you do that, you have to run it back with the, uh, obviously with the Rams guys. I had Sammy Watkins and Todd Gurley running it back, just hoping for a shootout. Got that here, uh, had the Broncos defense, just needed uh, guys like Hopkins and some other players to round this team out. So that was my best team. My worst team, which you can see here, is right around like my cash game teams. Uh, it was an Alex Smith stack here with Tyreek Hill, Kelsey running it back with Crabtree, and a lot of the same guys I showed you before. Uh, didn't end up with Will Fuller, who I thought was a really good GPP play away from those other guys um, in the Bills defense. So I actually really like my thought process overall. I uh, don't really have any regrets in terms of the, the players I chose this week. I uh, felt good about my process, and I uh, just didn't have the results. So looking at the contest dashboard, and actually we should review this now, we'll look at the winning team, which is two-gun. Um, really, really good play on Brett Hundley, taking the troll angle from... Uh, Last week's chalk bust to a GPP winner the next week. That came to fruition with Brett Hundley. Stacked him with Devontae Adams, who had two touchdowns. Bernard, Fournette, Hopkins, DT, Trey Burton, Melvin Gordon, and Broncos D. Awesome team, and congrats to Dugan, who's a legend in the industry, on another million-dollar win. So if we look at two guns' exposures here, made 57 teams, had a ton of leverage on Giovanni Bernard and DeAndre Hopkins, as well as Todd Gurley. I was on Mike Evans as well, so... Uh, kind of a big bust there that was unfortunate, but you can see the leverage that uh, that he got across the, the board, and um, 
Yeah, some really nice plays in here. Uh, Demarius Thomas came through for him in the million-dollar lineup. And you can just go through here and kind of see where he gained leverage versus the field. Um, I believe he had probably, it looks like, two or three Brett Hundley lineups. So that was enough to get leverage versus the field and uh, just kind of spread out. So let's take a look here at uh, some of the players we've looked at in the past. You know, I always like to revo uh, review Chipotle Addicts teams. So if you look at the leverage for Chipotle Addict, Mike Evans, Alshon Jeffrey, Demarius Thomas, Jamison Winston, Theo Riddick, Golden Tate Stafford. That was really the game I was on as well. So it's good to see that they were on that game. I thought that was a really good spot uh, to take Stafford and Winston and, and run it back with those receivers. Uh, a lot of turnovers in that game uh, really kind of hurt the overall performance of those players. So if we look at Papa Gates, uh, that's another guy that I like to review as well. You can see the 150 lineups here for Papa Gates. Um, ended up having some, some really good teams here. So if we look at Papa Gates again. Sorry, that took a second to load. Uh, Papa Gates, obviously, with 150 teams, it just takes the system a little bit longer to go through kind of the players that uh, they had. And also, I have Chipotle checked. So you can see here um, that there's some, some overlaps here with these guys. Um, you know, Papa Gates was really heavy on A.J. Green and versus the field. And, uh, you know, that was, that was one of the interesting aspects of this tournament. So if we take away Chipotle Addict and we just look at Papa Gates' leverage here. You can see Demarius Thomas, Funches, Perrine, Christian McCaffrey, Alshon Jeffrey, Leonard Fournette, Theo Riddick, Evans, Hyde, Stafford. Uh, really good guys to get leverage on versus the field. Uh, you can see that they're pretty heavily owned on some guys who come in relatively low owned that still have a lot of equity. So there's so much you can do with this tool. You can change different contests. You can go through a variety of things. You know, if you want to look at, say, the My Luxury Box teams, um, you can see here. So My Leverage against the field was Deshaun Jackson, Golden Tate, Marvin Jones. I was really heavy on that game. I was also pretty high on Delaney Walker. I thought he made sense this week. Uh, Mike Evans, Jameis Winston, Matthew Stafford. So I was really loaded up on that game, and unfortunately it just didn't come to fruition. I uh, did get some leverage on some guys like the Denver defense and uh, Delaney Walker. So I felt pretty good about my process, and uh, it's really good to go through these to kind of gauge how uh, tournament players are doing. So Hope this was helpful for you guys. Hope week 14 went better than it went for me, for you. And as always, good luck this week and hope to see more Fantasy Lab subscribers at the top of the leaderboard.